What up, peeps? Good morning. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I'm headed to the gym in the biggest pickup truck ever in life. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I've never driven a truck this big, I don't think. Uh, it's humongous. Yesterday, I dropped my truck off. Um, well, I dropped the Jeep off to get an oil change, to get some recalls fixed, and a couple other things. And um, they don't have loaner cars. So I had to rent a car and, oops, hold on. Yeah, I got this propped up with like napkins and some old stuff. So yeah, I had to rent a car and the Enterprise guy showed up in this big old truck and I'm like, wow, okay. And when we get in, he's like, this is actually gonna be your rental. I was like, yeah, okay, thanks. So it's a Dodge Ram heavy duty 2500 yes this mug is humongous i'll show you when i get to the gym but happy tuesday <laughs> gay babe tv coming at ya what up peeps join us love life and laughter the point of it all cause if we don't have love and nothing else really matters highs and lows see the joy that it brings gay babe tv You guys, I did not realize how spacious trucks were on the inside. Like, crazy, right? So, I just made it to the gym. And I was supposed to be here like 30 minutes ago. I set my clock for 7. And I'm just now getting here. And it's 8.13. But, we got a lot going on today. So, I'm trying to get my workout done early. I worked out with my trainer yesterday and did upper and lower. So, I'm not doing any weights today. I'm just going to do a quick, like, 30, 35 minute cardio session. Um, do the treadmill and then, like, the Stairmaster. But I wanted to show you guys just how big this truck is. Because I have to, like, hop up out this mug. I, I can't. I can't just step out. Step down. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you see how big this is? Like, seriously, I have to hop up out of this mud. It's humongous. The biggest truck ever. Anyway, going to get my run on. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. So, the closet installation is about to happen. Super excited. I know Gabriel is ecstatic. So, here's the closet. Are you talking to the peeps too? I am talking to the peeps right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> because we're getting our closet done. I'm getting my closet done. I'm so excited. This is the floor. So, baby showing the before. That's the before, y'all. Goodbye, wire mm -hmm. situations. Don't be vlogging me. I'm beautiful. Thank you. Missed you. Oh, thanks. Missed you too. Y'all were knocked out. They were knocked out this morning. You know what's coming because I haven't done this in a very long time, but have you worked out today? Are you going to work out today? Do it. Y'all, so it's coming together. Uh, it's very close to being done. Uh, I'll definitely show you the finished product when it's done. I'm excited to see it. But uh, so um, right now Gabrielle's getting re ready and dressed for the day because she's got to go and run. She's trying to get some paint supplies and stuff so we can start painting either Chad's room or the office. We haven't decided yet. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's what kind of happened. I'm just kind of waiting around here and our internet is broke. 
it's acting funny. So we gotta wait until they come from like four to eight. They can be like these four hour windows, to try to come and figure out what's wrong with the internet. Remember how long it took us to get internet? Well, now it's broke. So yeah, that's just what's happening. So um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. Super excited to see the finished product. And um, Chad Jr. is off for babysitter in case Gabriel didn't tell you that. Um, he's with her today um, and tomorrow. And um, so that way we can get some stuff done. We have a lot of deliveries and things happening. We bought a lot of stuff for the house and we're doing a lot of stuff, as you guys know. So I'm trying to get it all ready. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. You guys, I have like the weirdest camera set up right now because <laughs> there's not a good like flat dash in this truck for me to put the camera. Irritation. <laughs> like that's a requirement so anyway I am actually going to see a therapist you guys the very first time seeing a therapist well I take that back I have seen like counselors before like funny story actually my ex and I went to counseling because we could not get our relationship together we were struggling with life okay so we went and we had maybe like two sessions and then I found out he was cheating on me and that was the end of that. So word to the wise, if you feel like you need to go to see a counselor with your boyfriend, if he's not your fiance, if this is not premarital counseling, you might want to rethink that situation. And I'm not saying that all times it doesn't work, it's just in my situation, it wasn't ideal. And us needing to even consider counseling was like a telltale sign that it just it wasn't meant to be so for all you young ladies out there just kind of reevaluate your situation if you think the counseling is going to help you and your boyfriend honey just keep it pushing okay it'll be somebody else <laughs> coming down the line okay <laughs> okay so I'm at a light now so I can talk to y'all but last week I had my physical with my doctor and you know we were just talking about everything and talking about the whole trying to conceive situation and I was saying to her that sometimes I feel like I should be like talking to somebody about this because I am one of those types that doesn't really talk about my feelings a lot like my husband you know my husband that's weird that I call him my husband I mean he is my husband but Chad has to like pry things out of me my mom has to pry things out of me Kales has to pry things like I don't just easily share like my feelings and things and I have a lot of just you know emotions and and everything just for this whole you know trying to conceive for years and then miscarrying and still trying to conceive so I was just explaining to her that sometimes I feel like I should be talking to someone other than Chad because he's going through it with me too so we can have our conversations but it's nice to have like just someone else outside of so my doctor was saying that it's actually a really good idea to talk to someone who doesn't have any ties to you who's unbiased like just someone who you can like vent to so hence the reason I'm going to see a therapist and <laughs> I'm, I don't know I'm kind of leery like I don't know how this is gonna go honestly I, I don't know like I, I don't know I know that it's a woman because she did say that she would recommend a woman um, for obvious reasons but I don't know I'm just not really sure I feel like she's gonna be like so what do you want to talk about and I'm gonna be like uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know Ugh, I don't know and I don't want to cry every time I talk about babies and stuff I cry and this is a stranger so I'm gonna feel real stupid <laughs> I don't know so many things going through my head right now but I'll keep you posted it could be a very very positive appointment you know you never know so anyway I'll keep y'all posted So, I don't know about that. <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about that appointment. The jewelry is still out. Like, I mean, it was cool, but I don't, I don't know. 
basically, this was like a preliminary appointment anyway. This wasn't like an actual session. So I filled out like a questionnaire and we were, you know, going through that and she was asking me about, you know, family life, growing up life, and just getting a brief history of everything that's going on and, you know, why I was there. So, you know, I explained to her what was going on and she said that a lot of, most of her adult clients come because they, you know, need help coping with difficult situations and she's like what you're going through is nothing but you know a difficult situation so she was like you know I don't think that there's anything major going on I think we could probably meet like once a month and just talk about coping and and things like that so I I don't know I just mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel I'll give it one more shot just to see what an actual you know session would look like because that's not what a, a, an actual session would look like i'm curious to know do any of you guys go to a therapist or have you ever gone to one like was it helpful for you to talk about the issues you were going through like was it a waste of time let your girl know what you think anyway it's no harm in trying it and uh yeah so now i need to go pick up siege because he's been with um the babysitter today well i think i'm gonna go pick him up and then we're gonna get some paint or maybe i should get the paint first because i'm i'm trying to get some painting done okay i need to pay his room i need to pay the office so one of them joints is getting painted today or at least getting started all right y'all so i made a mistake and i forgot the camera i got it all ready to go and everything and then i forgot it on the bed so that's why I'm using my phone right now. And you'll be able to tell I'm using my phone because it'll be a little bit bumpier and the volume will be horrible compared to the camera, but oh well. So yeah, he's almost done with the closet. It's pretty much an all day process. Uh, it's pretty crazy the stuff he's doing. I mean, it's pretty pretty cool looking. Once you guys see the finished product, you'll, um, you know, you'll love it. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, I gotta go to the dentist because I have a tooth. So I have, I have a tooth where um, it has a crown on it, and that tooth, whatever. There's just a tooth that cracked, right? I mean, I'm trying to give you a short story of the long story, and the the tooth cracked, and now I need to figure out if that tooth is salvageable or if they have to like crown that. I don't, I don't know. I've got to go and just ask them what they can do about this tooth because it doesn't hurt anymore. Or didn't really hurt much, but it cracked and it's like you know bad shape so I need to figure out what's going on and what they can do what the options are y'all so right now uh, that's where I'm heading to the dentist and uh, I'm running a little bit late but um, that's fine uh, Gabrielle and Chad she picked up junior from the babysitter and they're heading back to the house and so I'm excited to get back home she went to Sherry Williams got a bunch of paint products and all that kind of stuff so we gonna be Getting on this painting. No, I'm excited. It's our place, so it's gonna be exciting to get some of this stuff done. And, you know, it'd be cool. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Heading to the dentist. You guys, welcome to my closet. This is the finished product. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I'm gonna do a full, like, tour on the Gabe fix, but you know, once I get everything in here, but yeah, this is what the closet looks like. I am so happy about this. I got my little valet rod right here so I can like hang clothes. I have a tie rack here, which is probably gonna be my scarf rack because originally this was gonna be a shared closet, but Babe was gracious enough to give me the entire thing. So, I'm taking over this bad boy, okay? I can't wait to get all my stuff put up in here. But I also have, um, this is a belt rack, but it's gonna be like for my necklaces and stuff. And then I have the jewelry insert in here. You guys don't you like my little um, handles? I found those on Amazon and they were cheap too. So yay, this is my closet. I am so excited about this. This is for like, for like long stuff and yeah so like i said i'll give a full like tour once i get everything in here 
um probably on the gate six at some point if you want to see that let me know or thumbs up or whatnot but i want to tell you guys about california closets because i was really excited to work with them like i was doing a lot of research on who could do my closets and who would do a good job and then after tiffany got her closets done she got a closet and a mudroom done by California closets and then Nitra B got she got a mudroom and her closet done too and I was like okay they must be legit two of the homies have used them so that pretty much made up my mind I was like okay I trust their opinion and they seemed pleased with their closets so it was a really cool process because I contacted them and then we had like a free design consultation so we had someone come out her name was Erin and she came out and you know looked at the old space and measured everything and then she kind of like built the closet for me and then kind of showed me what she was thinking and the great thing about California closets is that they have graphic designers like actual graphic designers that come out and design your closet for you so they do all of the dimensions like it was down to the T like it looked like this um, just on the computer so she showed me where everything was gonna go it was measured out like it was it was perfect so she was out here for probably like a couple hours you know we were going through like the different finishes and all of that stuff so yeah I mean once she left we knew what it was gonna look like we knew how much it was gonna cost like all of that it was just seamless so yeah I'm a fan of California closets if you are looking to get your closet done hit them up I put their links and stuff in the description box but yeah like I am completely impressed I am so excited I'm so excited about this mirror y'all y'all know how I am about my mirrors right like I'm about to be in here all the time so now I think the only thing I need is to get like a chandelier type of thing I feel like I need something a bit more fancy uh, as a light in here so yeah it was one guy that came and did all of this and he like patched up some holes that we had in here I'll probably have to like repaint some of this because you can see like this was where the racks were but he patched all that up for me yeah I am so excited about this closet yay so freaking excited well y'all oh, it's not good not good they said that tooth, that tooth is not salvageable so they have to pull it yeah then I've got an impacted like other tooth that they have to pull as well because it's pushed up against that one it's a mess y'all so this is gonna be like it says like a nine point nine month process because they've got to do a implant they got to put a you know actually an implant bone graft and then an implant so it's like oh my goodness but I mean nothing I can do about it so that's the news that's the update uh, I'm gonna have to figure out when I can do that timing wise um, the rest of my teeth are just absolutely fine except for that one <laughs> or those two but whatever um, it could be worse so I'm thankful for that that it's not worse but yeah so now I'm heading home uh, I think that the internet guy is there Gabriel called and asked me or she sent me a text a couple questions that the AT&T guy had and then um, closet guy should be done too. So I'm excited to see the finished product, y'all. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to beat this rush hour because it's pretty much rush hour. So um, let's see if I can beat them. You guys, I'm getting ready to edit for the I first time in like a week. Like, I'm sitting here getting, putting the footage on the computer, on the phone, on hold with Ikea because I ordered a... Um, shelving unit for CJ's room like three weeks ago get it and it's damaged so I'm on hold now trying to get another one sent out I'm like am I gonna have to wait another three weeks to get this bad boy like seriously I'm really upset can y'all see that this is how it showed up today for real for real like that is like scratched up and I'm not going to like if it was going to be on the bottom i probably would just keep it but i'm going to store it horizontally so that side will be seen so the great news is that she says they handle their returns um quicker than standard order time because standard order time is like three weeks so hopefully it won't take that long but it's cool because i'm not i'm really not even ready to use it because i still got to paint in siege's room speaking of paint i got the paint so the plan was to start painting today right 
and then I remember that I had to edit. So after I finish editing, I'm at least about to tape up something. Paint one wall if I can't do nothing else. I just feel like I've not done anything I was supposed to do today. Don't you hate when that happens? When you have like a list of to-do items and you only get through like two of them? I guess it's better than getting through none of them, but still. Sorry, I'm about to edit. Do you know where you're going, Chad Jr.? Yes. Where are you going? Toys. Okay, where, show me where the toys are. Right there. Wow, good job, buddy. <laughs> Excited, aren't you? <coughs> he found the toys. Yay. Well, we found the toys, y'all. So, we're at the Darth Vader's toy. That's what Chad called it. Don't know why he called it that, but that's what he called it. So, we're looking. Y'all, it's in the night. It is. The next night. It is. So, yeah, we're going to end the vlog from, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're also going to end the vlog for today. <laughs> what? I think. Yes, but for late. Well, whatever. What? Good night. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks. I hope you enjoyed the new closet yes, tour. Yes, the little, little slow, kind of not I full tour. I love it. It's not a tour. It's not I'm going to do a full tour mm -hmm. once everything is done, but that'll be on the game fix. So, yes, hopefully you enjoyed just seeing it being put together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed, you know, seeing the, the closet put together. It's a really cool process seeing. Yeah. Uh, but I did want to let you know that it was my idea to give her the whole closet. <laughs> it was. I did not ask. She did not ask. She, she did not. Offered, okay? Because my, here's the thing. That's what I'm saying, right? Here's the thing. She wanted the closet. She's the one that wanted the closet from the get-go. Like, I had never wanted a closet built out or anything like that. Since we looked at this house. What's in your mouth? It was ours. So rude. <laughs> so <fun. laughs> And it was ours. Like, I was like, okay. That's what I'm saying. I, so, I knew that she wanted this. And yeah. so, so it's super girly. It's, like, perfect for her. Yeah. But so I, and I've got the guest closet. And the guest closet is gigantic. So, I'm going to make it manly and just... <laughs> Like dirty underwear everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> dirty socks. No I'm, just, I'm, just I'm just joking. But it's just gonna be my man closet. Um, isn't that right? Man closet. Okay. Really? Okay. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You know what to do, right? Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Subscribe it up to everybody you know. Woo! Yeah. Do this. Bye, guys. See you later. What'd you say? No, okay. Bye. That's that. That's Gabby. I'm Amy. Bye. You know. Bye.